international champion, Kelly Moran. The crowd just loves this guy. Actually, they call him the miracle worker. Well, you're kind of like a gunfighter in the old west when you come into Costa Mesa wearing this number, the big number one, everybody's gonna take a shot at you. And Kelly Moran, you know that's true tonight. Yeah, it's true, but it's opening night. We're just here really, I think, to get the fans a good show and try to get the pace going for the spring classic, you know, but hell, being here tonight is just really set everybody on fire, you know? Here comes number one, Kelly Moran. He started on another dip. Down goes Wicko, down goes Alan Christian, picking his way to a battlefield with Kelly Moran. That's one thing about Kelly Moran. He is such a crowd pleaser. He can come from the back on almost any occasion. Number one, Moran, riding with total abandon. He's around John Foster. Set his sights on Randy Blevins. Blevins is down. Foster lays his bike down. Still collides with Blevins. And for Kelly Moran, the red flag is out. The national champion, Kelly Moran, has got to get around Alan Christian somehow. Oh, man, Kelly Moran is down. The national champion has run into the back of Alan Christian. Hans Nilsson in blue. On the outside is Bill Trump and yellow down the inside. And white comes Kelly Moran. Got the run on Nilsson, he's got the inside, he drifts in, and Nilsson's gone a little bit wide, and what a superb first lap by Moran. Mounting a challenge on his outside, it's Kenny Moran, and Moran goes around the outside of Carter. In thrilling style, take up the lead, all the United States, but Carter coming back at him inside him. Carter takes the lead back, and Kenny Moran doesn't give up, comes back at Carter. Tremendous stuff from these two. In the lead, at the end of the last lap. I think if you just use your head instead of using your throttle, you'd be able to get through it. And by the end of the night, it seems that everybody was using their head, which was nice. And Moran will try to swing back down the inside of Jessup. And I think he might just have the drop on him into the corner together, absolutely shoulder to shoulder. And once again, Moran has shown his bravery, his courage. Mind you, we've never been really keen on, like, a... Cradley or Coventry because who likes riding on glass, you know, and that seems to be the case every time we go there. Um, unfortunately, they got Malcolm Holloway out. Hello, Malk. And, um, and, and for tonight, they got Ollie Tordovina, so hopefully Ollie won't go too well. Sorry, Ollie. <laughs> He's drifting, 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 and Moran's almost in trouble on his back wheel there. It's somehow managed to maintain control the last 340 meters of what has been a tremendous afternoon speedway. And here comes Moran again for his last desperate effort. Around the outside, I think he's going to try and swing back. He does, and over the line, it is Jeff Peter Collins. And you have on the inside is Mark Lurum. Lurum up on the inside, and Kenny Moran with one left to come. Moran now fighting up around on the outside. Down the back straight, the final third coming on the deck of flag at Danaby. Oh, Kelly Moran back underneath him. Kelly doing wheel stands because he's getting so much traction. Bobby closes the door on him. Bobby Schwartz wins with Kelly's front wheel up in the air. Steve, what an unbelievable race. The crowd just loves it. We call this a ballet on dirt. Well, that's exactly what it's proven to be. As they come around the final corner, headed for the checkered flag, wheel in the air, Kelly Moran wins it. Unbelievable. That's why they call Kelly Moran the miracle worker. 